What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So I just want to make this really quick video. Got my Escalade here and I've been waiting. I've been trying to figure out how to get the, basically the AV in the back to work with basically mirroring my iPad, my daughter's iPad to the TV. Uh, I got the uh, overhead TV here or monitor. So let me show you what I'm talking about. On these 2015, 2016 Escalades, they only had these outputs right here for this. So if you guys are looking at these outputs right here, they have the yellow, white, and red outputs. The 17s and up have an HDMI output, which connects the HDMI to a USB-C, and you get basically the video straight from that to that source. These, you have these old, old, like 1980s AV outputs, which pretty much were like something if you connected on the old TVs, and that you needed basically these type of cables to connect to get video. So I have been trying to figure out how to get any video to play for here without having to hook up Apple TVs and mirror through the Apple TV, which would be, you know, carrying a box about this big somewhere in the car. And I finally found something. I'll have both of the links in this on Amazon. One is for lightning connectors and one is for USB type C connectors. So like the new iPhone 15, the new iPad and things like that. Uh, if you guys got lightning uh, connectors, which are the old iPhones, the 14s and down, this will work for this, but it has two different cables. The one with the lightning connectors uh, require a little bit more cables than the ones with the uh, USB type C. So I'm going to show you real quick here how all this works. Okay, so as far as the one for the lightning connector, this is a little more complicated. This is it right here. All right, so it's pretty much an HD audio video output. And pretty much this is all it comes with. So it comes with, this is the actual little box right here. You got your red, yellow, and white inputs and it comes with a power source, of course, to connect it to this box. So on top of this, for this the lightning one, you're going to need a HDMI to lightning adapter. So it's this thing right here. You gotta pick that up from Apple. I think it's like 40 bucks or something from Apple. And of course, the HDMI cable. Now, of course, I have a home one here. Now, this is just to show you guys because I actually have a USB type C, which is a lot less of a mess. Now for the USB type C, it's gonna be this here. That's for the USB type C. Now this is a little bit less complicated. It literally is just your inputs. That's the actual box there. And this already comes with a USB power source as well as the USB type C all in one here. For both applications, you will need a USB-C or well, I'm sorry, a USB plug to plug into your 12 volt source or a one of those car charging plugs that you plug into the other side. Either way, it'll work. All right, so for the one with the lightning connector, I'm gonna show you exactly how that gets connected. You take your box here, you're gonna plug in your HDMI cable. Again, this is more of a mess on cables than anything. To the box. Your end for the power source right in there for this power source as well just like that you're going to take your usb you're going to plug this in that's for the power for this thing to get power and then you're going to take your other end of your hdmi and plug it into the apple hdmi to lightning just like that in the car you're going to go ahead and take of course your audio video plugs and plug them in where they belong of course by color then you're going to take your power source here plug it into the bottom down here which is your 120 volt outlet right there the car has to be running you'll see the light turn on green right there then you're going to take your lightning and plug it into of course your phone or your ipad wherever is a lightning source your uh, whatever device you're using plug it in once that's plugged in, you got your phone there. The car has to be running for this to work, of course, so that this device has to get power because if the car's not running, your 120 volt won't work. And once that's plugged in, now you can actually have, you have the phone up there mirrored. Let's right? see, everything I do on the phone is happening up on the screen up there. All right. That is for the lightning ones. There's, now for the USB type C, it's gonna be a little bit simpler. For the USB type C, it's a lot simpler. Check this out. You take your 
charging brick. You hook it up to the USB port on the device. You plug this into your source right in there. Again, the light turns on because you got power. You take your AV outputs or inputs, plug them in right in there. Again, color, the color, color code is you can't mess that up. White with white, red with red, yellow with yellow. And then the other end connects to your phone, your iPad, your Android, whatever has a USB Type-C running. And you want to mirror to the device up there. And now, of course, you give it a second here. And now we're mirroring the phone. Now, of course, here, if you want to watch, let's just say, a movie. So let's just go to my source here. We'll go to here and we'll watch one of my own videos here for my channel. Check this out. I want to watch that video there of course if you turn the screen around or enlarge it you get that enlargement on there we're going to there you go look at that what's playing on my phone is playing on the TV of course now I did this mainly for my daughter's iPad when she wants to watch movies at times things like that there you go now we got it all mirrored up there. Of course, this will also show up in your front display as long as you are pretty much uh, not driving. Uh, there is, of course, unlocks for the vehicle, which I haven't done yet. Pretty much that is how you mirror something. And that, the second device for the USB Type-C is super simple, very easy to use. Uh, I'll figure out how to hide some of the wiring because I hate wiring everywhere. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be using. For hooking up my daughter's iPad, or even if my phone, my son's in the back with his phone, um, and he's got a newer phone, he could actually hook that up, play his little games, you know, whatever games he plays up there, watch it up there. My daughter could be watching her iPad in front of her because they got a little stand for her iPad as well. But that's a quick video on if you guys have a 2015, 2016 Escalator GM with those AV outputs or inputs, that's a quick video on how to actually run this. Uh, and have your phone mirrored to that without having to use a Roku. Some people were telling me an Apple TV, a bunch of other devices. And I'm pretty sure with that small, simple device, again, that's just for like something that connects to USB Type-C. If you wanna get crazy and get like a video game hooked up to it, the other device, cause it runs HDMI, that one would be the way to do it. So if you wanna hook up a game, um, what is it, a Nintendo Switch, the other device, because that has HDMI, you can hook that up to it. So that's it. That was this quick video, just wanted to show you guys uh, I'm kind of excited for it because I've been almost a year into the car and still haven't figured out how to use that thing. And I finally got it and it works perfectly. So that's it. So everything I used on here, uh, those two devices, I'll have down the link in the description below. You guys can check those out right there. Just click on the link, helps out the channel as well. Um, and if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.